And that's one of the two cards we splashed for, right? So. Zero planes. I think uh, next game will be uh, Rona. We're missing islands. We only have the one island. We need two islands for some reason. And Rona just burns all of our islands out. This looks fine. Oh, go first. Well, shit. Got two playable twos that tie the board up. I think I'm doing this. It's like 70% to draw land. Any land of any color fits us here. And if we miss one turn, it's not such a big deal. Arcanists also trigger Call the Cavs, so it's kind of like quasi land. Okay, miss our land drop, no problem. I can still cast Call the Cav next turn. Yeah, bot's great, right? Getting blue red wizard over there. There's a land. Memorial of Folly. Fuck that card right now. But then every one of our hands has done nothing for us except be a tap swamp so far. Yeah, I do drop Memorial of Folly more consistently than a fucking island. It's ridiculous, right? So I don't have the land to cast um, the Drake. I can play my own Drake. Firing a 2-2. Two -two. A non-flying 2-2. Two -two. It's exciting. It's very exciting. I'm going to play this card now. Alright. Like, our hand's not bad. Five mana is really not that much. We should get there in no time, Sarah. Okay. Upstairs neighbors walk like they're trucks. Ah, see, ship and fire number two. I should have suspected. I presumably he was going to use that on the other token until this moment. That's an island. We need a planes right now. But that is an island, so that's good. I want to kick it this turn. Uh... Since if I kick it when he's at six mana, he may wait till it's a four four. Yes, my upstairs neighbors are transformers, that is correct. We need a planes. That's what we need. He's just spent two shivin fires. To do, deal with two twos. Presumably he's out of shivin fires and he can't deal with my four four and I want a planes. Blink of an eye on the token. Sure, that's actually decent. Not not main phase like that, but I mean, I guess he wanted to land this turn. He's hoping to see if he's... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't recast his Drake. It's fine. Ah, uh, islands. Perfect. <laughs> sure. <laughs> not even sad. Not even sad. We got him. We got mission successful. Islands are in play.
two-headed giant. And a wand. It's kind of bad news for us. I need my angel down. Need to be hitting them in the air right now, since I won't be hitting them on the ground ever. I mean, the card's not bad. It's not what I need right now, though. So it could be recurring the Drake. Recurring Arvid, my only swamp. I can't recur anything, I don't have a second swamp. Alright, any white mana is good for us. Any land at all is okay for us. Any card that isn't a white mana or a land is also good for us because we can play it. So literally fucking everything is good for us. Oh, not if he gets double strike right now. That's bad for us. Incoming double strike in three, two, one. Now. Okay, he's got a 25% chance to double strike. Sure. Twenty five percent it is. I can keep swinging with my journey mage. I think I'm going to. Quitters never win. Thank you, Sissonair, for the uh, four month sub man. All right, see if he can uh, 1 in 16 it. He can. 1 in 16 it is. Holy shit. Take an 8. Okay. There's the kicker, Drake. Nope, it's a cold water snapper. That's pretty bad for me too. There's finally the fucking land. He's already used fiery intervention, double unkickered uh, thing. All right, let's hope our uh, damage decisions paid off here. Presumably he's gonna kicker Drake, but we have Kendall for kicker Drake. We need to not draw removal for my angel. Taking that 8 was a little aggressive. I think I maybe should have blocked with the Arcanist. This was too much fucking cringe for me to watch him 1 in 16 me for uh, double double strikes. I mean, if that card rolls double strike every time, it's just nuts, right? Like, just unbelievably good. Alright. What are we looking for? 1 in 64? Success! 1 in 64. So if he does, if they both end up tails, he gets menace. They both end up heads, he gets double strike. If one ends up heads and one ends up tails, which is the 50% of the time happens, he gets nothing. It seems very unlikely. It's one in 64. It's not very unlikely. It's exactly as unlikely as we've said. That's a good draw. Especially since he didn't bother playing the Drake. Puts him down to a one turn clock. It's a super good draw. Uh, I don't want to tap that over my lands. Makes no difference whatsoever. 
literally no difference. We have no cards in hands. Okay. And we know what his card in is. is not a counter spell. So. All right. So he doesn't have wizards to pass that around. We just need to not take damage this turn. He dies to flyers. If he plays the Drake, he's still dead to flyers. He needs to draw removal or burn. Any short summary from this draft? Um, yes. The draft is a mediocre blue white black uh, blue white deck with a short amount of black splash that so far has been land screwed every single game we've played it. Um, also, R and Jesus with filthy. It's a, it's fun. It's fun. Unkicker Drake. Okay, that's fine. It's just a blocker. It's, it makes sense. Don't know what else is in his hand, but we're about to find out. Uh oh. It's a little scary. Okay, that's, that's one damage. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna do it. I guess if he's got he does disallow is not in this set. All right, so we're gonna win that one. Opponent's playing Is It. Uh, were there mulligans there? I don't think there were, right? Shit, I don't remember. I don't remember who went first, I don't remember if there were mulligans. We didn't mulligan and we did go first. That I remember, I don't think they did. Uh, no, we went first. Okay. Were we land screwed? A little, but not enough. Wasn't a deciding factor of the game. Okay. Oh, these are matches. Oops. Right. What do I see from that deck? Uh, I think this deck is fine versus that deck so far. We've seen a lot of four damage removal. You know, Dub is actually something that is kind of exciting. If he doesn't have red mana open on a Sarah Angel, it keeps him out of kill range from a thing. I kind of want it in. What am I pulling for it? Elephant. Elephant relevant there. He's got a 4-4 that sometimes gets double strike with Menace. Cutting the elephant for that, I think. We saw two Shivan fires. We saw a fiery intervention. So Dub pushes Sarah Angel out of range of both of them. The Zahid is already out of range with six health. Um, so we'll try to do that in such a way that we don't get two for one for it, but it might actually be the difference. Oh, blink of an eye, right? Blink of an eye, we did see that too. Keeping this, it has all my colors and early stuff. This looks pretty good. More out of folly, opening hand again. I run nine of these, chat. It doesn't seem like I run nine, but I do. Okay. He scried one, or rather uh, rolled one. You too, Chronicler. He loves that opening. Gotta give him that. All right. It's a good draw. Gain some life off it. He is aggressive with his Shivan Fires. He's just happy to throw those out main phase. It's so fucking crazy to me. Alright. Let's go ahead and trap her. Try to get our damage in on the ground before he locks up the ground with blockers. If we draw land too, he can tap his blocker. I mean, I guess, presumably he wants... I'm going to save this. Presumably he wants to trade here or he would have attacked. I guess he just didn't want to attack into it. Alright, let's take... Let's get damage first. Hey, Fenderwolf. Doing well, man. Alright. Let's go ahead and play... Our other trapper. Save the candle for actual tapping. 
a little mana screwed. He needs to play blockers that matter. No, he's not mana screwed. Okay. I thought he was color screwed, but he's not. 4-3. I'd love to counter that. For sure. Doesn't stack up very well versus our creatures. Discarded turtle. He's worried about the pressure. The pressure's getting to him, chat. Okay, trading a trapper for a, a raider right now. So let's just swing in. Might not even. I might just do. Uh, I might Gideon's it if he blocks. Takes six. Huh. All right. Uh, let's play a Drake. Some air damage. Leave mana open to counter. Save the uh, the blood tal talisman to tap his creatures. Next turn, if he decides he wants to start blocking at some point. I wonder if he regrets shipping flaming the uh, unicorn. Probably not. Maybe this turn he wants to block. Drake, sure. Okay. All you, buddy. Sure. I right, see one thing at a time here. Let's play the talisman. He's eight on the board. I'm at 15. I'm going to tap both his blockers. Then I'm going to swing for eight. And then I'm going to play another creature. Mill him down. Picked up a two headed giant out of that. It's nice. But none of his removal, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a lot, ton of work for sure. Got to have their historic synergies with them though, right? Holding the blood talisman. I mean, the candles work really well with them. The blood talisman, the candle's so efficient to play around in terms of um, mana cost for the one. It's very easy to get that down when you want it. Uh, I wish I had another one right now, in fact, but I don't. Um, so we got a couple options here. I could just candle the chronicler and swing. That presumably kills him. He might have something in hand, but I think that's my I think that's gonna be the play I take here. So I can make decisions after he's acted. So you could still have burned, kill something. You could survive at one basically. Doesn't get efficient blocks anywhere though, so even if he has burned to kill something, he's still He's still pretty fucked next turn. Looks like he's just dying. Oh, he's taking. He's going to go down to one. Sure. All right. I've got a flyer on the board. He has the card he drew up, the blink, plus whatever he just drew there to live. Good, good cards and hands. Can't counter, though, unfortunately, this turn. Like Candle over Gideon's because he can... Um, the Gideon's, he still gets the block. The candle, he doesn't. So with Gideon's, I kill the creature, sure. Uh, but I don't, that's a really good top deck, sure. That's a really good top deck for me as well. 
With Gideon's, the damage, um, if I remove the blocker after he's declared it as a blocker, it gets to block. It will have done its, uh, it will prevent the damage to him. This way it forces him to have an answer before he, that or he dies. And it turns out he had an answer, but it forces him to have that. It doesn't give him the turn to wait. If I draw Historic, he's dead. Did not get it, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and swing with the Jin. When you play Zaheed, you get a free tap. Might have been lethal. Yeah, I still think it was better than playing... Uh, I can't play them both. So I think it's better than just playing Trapper and passing. I mean, right now, right now, if I played it the other way around, I'd be able to tap his Drake with no attackers. I mean, I guess if he didn't have a creature, it'd be something. But this way, I get to eat his Drake for free. And he still has to deal with it next turn. It still has six health. So I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Got a fuck ton of health to play with. You know, I don't even think I'm casting Trapper here. I think I just want all of my air mana open for a Syncopate. Like, he has to get an air... He has to remove my Drake and get an air blocker past a counter spell for six mana. And he's got six mana. It's literally impossible. No, Gideon was not lethal. Chat, I've just answered this twice now. Come on, guys. I just literally explained why Gideon's wasn't lethal. Gideon's does not remove a blocker. He still gets to block with Gideon's. Okay. The only way Gideon's would have been lethal was if my guys had trample. Which they don't. Okay. Grab that one. Uh, he went first on that one. And lands were not relevant in that one. Go. Cool. Right, let's get our next game. You know, take candle 2-0. and Because of the power, the pure power of this deck. Oh wait, just kidding, it's trappers plus candle. I still believe it will get Zaheed on 4 one day. It's going to be less likely because... uh. I don't think I'm playing uh, candles into empty boards without a reason to. Drake's doing work too, you think? I don't know. Drake's hit for like four damage total. This looks totally playable. My dream draw is a candle. Alright, so we're going first. We didn't mulligan. Opponent didn't mulligan either. Zaheed on 6 is never going to happen. Ever. Because I just I'll have to draw lands for it. All right, do we believe, chat? How much do we believe? Because I could call the cab this turn. But if I get a land next turn, it's just bam, Zaheed. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to believe here. I'll risk it on two. I mean, we have our 85% chance that in the first first. Uh, we have more than that. I mean, this is, this is what? Okay, let's take a look at the odds. I've already made the play, but I want to look at the odds just so for the viewers to get a, a sense of how this works. So the number of cards in deck from starting hand with 33. Uh, the number of successes, there's any land work for that. So we had uh, seven, 14 lands available because we had three in hand. Any number of draws we're going to have. We went first. So we drew once, twice. This will be our third draw. And then any one success. So the odds of getting in the land from the start were 82%. Now, it's not that now because things have happened. Um, but we'll see. So this is a little greedier than just playing Kalikov. Kalikov is a safe one. But I might just be able to blow him out of the game with Zaheed on four. Which is why I like this card. Don't count the special black land. You're right. 
Oh, the dream. The fucking dream. Yes. What? Opponent goes first, plays Jin on fucking four. It's alright, he main decks, pierced the sky, it's in his hand. He's just been waiting for this moment. He's got to eviscerate. Oh, that ain't eviscerate. All right, feels pretty good right about now. Let's play this with lands. I like forcing him to have an answer to Zahid immediately. It makes me feel very excited. Especially since his deck looks pretty good so far. A lot of synergies. I don't think any of this matters right now. He would have blocked with sign, uh, slime foot if I'd swung with the two twos, or if I could have got damage in. It doesn't actually change the race, even if both go through. So probably not even worth thinking about. I definitely fear the plummet for sure. It's not plummet in this one, it's pierce the sky in this one, but I still fear it. Ah, uh, choose blocker. I think I can just take it again. Alright, he gets slime foot plus omnivore combo to eat it. It's pretty rough. Okay, so I take five here. Go start chumping next turn, I guess. Six, I guess. Yep. This is a historic. He can tap his slime foot. Swing with the two twos. And swing with the trapper. Tap his 2 2 as well, not give him that option. I like that. Could just remove the fucking omnivore too. Or remove slime foot. Jesus, so many options. I can just chump the omnivore alone forever. It's the slime foot that gives him all the reach with it. I think I'm just gonna kill the slime foot. Okay, it makes that omnivore a lot less scary when you can't sacrifice to it. Okay. Yep, we get Rona value for bringing it back for sure. It gets Arcanist, gets eaten this turn by the omnivore. We have Trapper double, we have, uh, but Rona with double Trappers tap two blockers, so he's probably dead here.
I think we've been in some serious trouble without Zahid on four too. Like an omnivore plus a slime foot on the board with a deck like ours with light removal is pretty scary for us. Seven percent swamp. I mean, what's the relevance of? We don't really care about swamp. Swamp wasn't relevant to anything. Oh, hexproof from white can't tap that creature. Need three more damage though. One blocker. Tap that. Dies anyways. Don't want to give him another turn. Okay. All right, G. No, we can't double tap. He's a hexproof from white. I don't have to show him the second one if I uh, don't play it that way. Okay, didn't immediately see black removal from him. Doesn't mean he doesn't have it. If he has pierced the sky and his sideboard is coming in. Go big or go home and play the dub maybe. Does put the Jin out of <laughs> pierce the sky range. That's a 3-5 for us. Not terribly exciting. Let's try a dub here. Okay. I mean, people don't draft Pierce the Sky very often. And it's more likely I get blown out by black removal than green re than green anti-flying removal, but I'll just pretend that I'll pretend that this is a good play. And we'll get rewarded when he pierces this guy, the Jin, in frustration. We'll just draw Lucky. Let's just draw the Jin with the artifact and four lands again. Didn't get that, but I got this. This is totally playable. Okay, opponent's going first. Did he mull? He did not. He's apparently got a hand that he likes. That's zero, zero. Uh, they're going first. Opponent is playing Golgari. Let's fix that. All right. Does it matter which way we play these lands? No. Okay. Could I beat Quill 18 in a fist fight? Why would I fist fight Quill? The guy's super nice. You ever met him in person? Really nice guy. All right. Knight of Valor is kind of bad news for us. Don't particularly want to trigger the Knight of Valor and make it a three. I think I'm not playing Unicorn. I think I'm going to play Arcanist into Scholar. And try to slow that knight down. All right. Nice aggressive curve from my opponent's deck. That does That's a mistake on his part. He should have attacked with the glider. Or not the glider. The sparring construct to buff the knight. Should have attacked with both. Could have got damage in. I right, let's play Scholar. Oh yeah, Brosidon. Sounds terrible, man. Uh, so take three from this. The downside is if I'm playing uh, Rona, it buffs him anyways. There's an ooze. Drake is fine here. He's up in mana for Gideon's too. And doesn't trigger that fucking knight. Okay. Just Gideon's it and start getting in for damage. 
think I prefer that. Will sets up some nice options here. Oh, this isn't white. This doesn't trigger it. I was thinking this was going to make it bigger, but it doesn't. That's fine. We'll play a Rona onto this board, I think. So the entire time I've been thinking this would make that a 3 2, and it just doesn't. Seems bad. Okay. Good draw for us. You can deal with that Black Knight, finally. I don't actually think I care about that right now. Sure, get your one. Land, land, mammoth spider. All right, I would like to be able to Rona this turn. Let's give him a chance to fuck up. He's had some very shitty low drop creatures here. Make sure we get to do that this turn. I am done taking damage. I don't know. If this is just that. So we get blown out by his slime foot and his omnivore. If I set this up, I'm forcing myself to adamant will because the knight gets first strike and gets bigger and I get blown out by a combat trick. Still think taking one damage makes more sense. It's not a very aggressive clock. Let's go ahead and draw. Is a white permanent. I'd like to be a little bit more efficient with my mana though. I suppose this could be an adamant will turn. We'll pass again. Fucking first strike. Attack on the ground and kill the knight. He's never going to block with the knight. And the thing about playing Adamant Will first, if I require the trade to have Adamant Will to work, then the any combat trick of his own, which presumably he has with this ultra-aggressive deck like this, actually is painful for me. So I don't think so. Let's go to the end of turn step. Let's go ahead and draw... Second Rona. Second Rona is really bad there. Deep freeze is nice. Question is, what do we deep freeze? I think the Acolyte. Deep freeze the Knight would be nice too. Wow, so many good targets. Deep freeze also deals with his bombs. Is the only issue. So this turn, presumably, he swings with Pardic and Sparring Construct. So what I want to do this turn is I want to let him buff the Knight with Sparring Construct, get it off the board, and next turn, Deep Freeze. Okay.
All right, let's go ahead and block here. And here. Sketchy block, but I want that construct off the board. I think he wants the construct off the board too. But we'll see. I don't really like that block too much. Okay, we're going to go to damage phase. Keep our dude alive. Okay, presumably he buffs the knight here. I don't care which he buffs, knight or acolyte are both fine. Buffs the acolyte, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna deep freeze that. Ooh, Paladin, sure. Go to the end of turn step, draw me a card. Okay. Play the land. Let's deep freeze the dude. Oops. And let's start getting in in the air. How do we block the Knight of Malice? It's going to start getting pretty sketchy here in a minute. I think I might play out both the other creatures here as well. Just gang block the fucking Knight of Malice. Alright, let's do that as well. Unicorn. Trapper. Get in in the air. Alright. Modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Praise the sub. Thank you, large cow movies for the sub. We'll block with these. He's got a combat trick. So first strike kills the three two, and then he dies to the two two. If he has a combat trick. He kills two of our guys for his combat trick. But we're getting value off Rona. I don't want to offer more creatures there. A big enough combat trick just blows out. I mean, I could quad block that would blow out one other, but what's the first strike dealing with seven? No, he kills more than three. He can kill three blockers with first strike that way. So if I quad block, I, I, I get really blown out by a combat trick. Where I dual block, I only get a little blown out by a combat trick. And we've got Rona forever, so. If Rona dies, is the second Rona still? No, if Rona dies, I lose the ability to cast my second Rona. Yep. I'm a combat trick. Oh, it's a good one. That's what a uh, quill would use versus me in a fist fight. That's why I wouldn't win. That quill is sneaky like that, full of combat tricks. Sure. Okay. Another poor fool lost in time and space. Welcome, Bobby9265. Thanks for the sub. All right, we're going to main phase Rona this turn. Ah, missed. That sucks. Getting a little light on creatures right now. It's past turn. I don't know where the fuck our value is going. We're not getting outvalued by him. We're just getting flooded, I guess. So what about I have in play? I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in play, and I've mill destroyed two. He's on seven. Six. So I'm just four lands ahead of him is what's happening right now. Feels pretty fucking bad. All right. Okay. Play another Ronin to untap. No one has summoning sickness. Doesn't help me at all. Means I don't get any more pick damage with the Drake. That sucks. Looks like he's picked up something he likes. Elf Flame Druid. For a kicker spell. That's a weird one. Sure. Uh, 
Um, I guess I can deactivate the knight this turn by trading off. Let's do that. Another land, perfect. Uh, let's go looking for playable cards. Another land, this time one I want. Okay, well the good news is we're almost out of lands in our entire deck. The bad news is we're taking two a turn at the moment. Bad news too. We're now out of blockers. Similarly, one day we'll draw something that isn't a land. Harmored Explorer is just fine. Uh, I don't want to play it like that though. I guess I should look first. Like a good one. This white does activate the knight. Get the hammer down first. What do we get? Anything good? Skin witch doesn't do anything versus us in three lands. That feels bad. So the hammer just helped him. Just drew. Looks like he drew some action, which kind of sucks. If he removes Rona right now, I lose Avrid. Arvid, but I can't trade Arvid versus the Knight of Malice, so it's not very exciting. Arvid will make Rona 4-4, that's true. Don't really want to block with uh, Rona right now, though. He's shown me two combat tricks already this game. Vicious Offering and uh, the other one. I really don't want to see Rona die to a combat trick when it's my only source of card advantage right now. And we're getting beaten down by uh just garbage minions let's try to get the knight off the board with the homerid i expect he's still pushing for damage if he's not it's a bit weird okay he wants to play it passive i've got a card advantage engine i'm fine with that drew another land somehow it's 10 11 12 13 14 there's three lands left in our deck and 11 action cards. So if we can stabilize here, we can probably win. What I'd really like to see right now is a fucking Sarah Angel or uh, Zahid. Let's draw. Not the card I was looking for. All right, one, two, three, four, five. It's about the knight attack one more time. But I gotta get a creature down at this point. Could just dub the homerid. Not dubbing the homerid. Alright, let's get Arvad down. Does activate the knight. Issue is I'm dead to a combat trick. I'm not gonna feed him a single knight. I guess I'm gang blocking that and feeling really bad if he's got another combat trick. Can't dub Arvid, I don't have the mana. It's three to dub. Yep, I'm gonna trade Arvid off for the knight, looks like. Could take three, but again, combat trick kills me right now. Combat trick is really bad here anyways. Better than dying though. Arvid has lifelink. Yeah, I know. But I'm still dead to a combat trick. It's still first strike damage. So that seems dumb to me. Why did he fucking Arbor Armament that? It literally did nothing. It changed nothing and you still died. And you wasted an extra card. Alright. 
go looking for a card that doesn't suck. Whisper is pretty good for him here. Where were you last turn, Syncopate? Again, like he must be holding lands because he's just hit six lands and then all action for the rest of the game. Which is pretty painful. What does he have in there? Mammoth Spider. Partic Wanderer. All right, let's let him do something stupid and then dub it after. I still have the same exact issue I've had all game. I need my Sarah Angel or my uh, Zahid. I don't like seeing that. Why does he have white mana? Is it removal? And he actually gets exact mana. That sucks. Can't counter it, don't have the mana. Can bounce it. And then counter it. Seems reasonable. And then syncopate it. Okay. Suppose you could sacrifice it, but then you can't target it back. Okay. I can presumably swing if I swing he sacks, but the sacks still do damage, so it forces him. I'm gonna swing with my vigilant tokens, I think. Uh, can I? Let's let him sack this turn. The issue for me here is, we'll say he blocks with, uh... Actually, would that have mattered? I don't know if that mattered. He didn't do it, though. He didn't whisper. Sure, play the land to be safe. Makes sense. Gotta remember the flame druid is worth one, too. Right, you can sack pre-blocks exactly. Yep, yep. I knew there's something I'm missing. I'm like looking at this. I'm like, this seems really bad to attack right now. I just need a flyer to kill him before I run out of time from drawing too many cards. He's still got a slime foot and an omnivore in his deck. He's got five mana untapped. We can make him exactly pay five. That land he just drew lets him play that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This counts for one. Can't counter it. Jesus Christ. All day long, he's had no lands. Then finally he gets lands and it's actually irrelevant. Feels pretty bad. Uh... I want to draw more and I want to let that happen. Feels kind of bad. Okay. Can't do anything about that now. Finally. Do you have any knights in his graveyard? Does. He's got two knights in his graveyard. How quick of a clock can I put him on? So he brings back a knight. 
Sacrifice this creature, bring it back to the knight. Sacrifice the creature, bring it back to the knight. He can actually kill my Arona. Could dub the Arona. Make it a four power. Gives me a couple more turns of draw with it. Could dub my Zaheed. I mean, he's going to get up to six super fucking fast. Zaheed might actually be the win condition, not the, uh, the rest of it. I think I'm dubbing Zaheed. Gotta get three swings in with Zaheed. Four because of the spider. Deep Freeze is our hard removal, right? So what else do we have? Syncopate, that did nothing for us. As Syncopates are wont to do. We already used our Journey Mage. We've got a Sarah in here, and I don't remember what else. Anything good left in our deck? We've got a second Call the Cav. Use the Gideons. Candles, that's right. We've got two candles in there. It's not bad. Two candles. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a night. No, we only had one deep freeze and we already played it. So it's not the deep freeze. Deep freeze is not available to us. <laughs> it's not really value. Like this creature's dying, right? Elephant's out, because Dub's in. We took Elephant out for Dub. No, I didn't. Oops, this, this is deliberate. This is not in my hand. It's part of Rona. So as soon as Rona dies... Uh, oh, he might have oops there. As soon as Rona dies, I lose access to that. So there's no fucking way that I want to wait on that. It doesn't actually create stop the creation of the knight. It'd be nice if it did. He might have thought it did, but he's got his elf flame druid. So it actually changed nothing except that it dumped it out of my hand. It's a fucking terrible card. He only has one knight on the board and he didn't take another one. I guess he sacks in response. So I can draw a card with Rona, but I can't play it at instant speed unless it is an instant. This is about the worst card left in my deck, I think. 7, 11, 7 and 4 is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now there's one more land. Okay. It's not that it's playable, it's the speed Vojin, right? So it's not an instant speed. He can kill my creature at instant speed, but he can't, um, but I can't play cards out of my hand at instant speed. No, I can't main phase Rona. Imagine I main phase Rona here, right? I tap, I draw a card. In response to that happening, and remember the card doesn't actually draw, it plays exile and it stays until it happens. 
So what he does is he sacrifices the Whisper, he uses Whisper, he sacrifices an Ooze in the Druid, he pulls his Knight of Malice out of his graveyard, he now has three, two Knights on the board, then he taps Irid, and Irid shoots Rona, and I lose what's in my hand. I play the other Rona to get my dude back. Shit, that's something I probably could have done earlier. Yeah, that I could have done earlier before this shit. I just totally blinked on the fact that this would have an effect. Alright. Yep, I could have done that with Arbor. That's a mistake, and I absolutely should have done that earlier. Attack with all and kill him. He can summon a Pardic Wanderer as a 5-5 blocker there, and all I do if I attack with all right now is take two really bad trades, my Journeyman and my Explorer, slam into his 4-4 and his fucking 5-5, and nothing else happens. He is all tapped. He is all tapped doesn't mean anything. I literally just explained why that combo doesn't work, why I can't use Rona right now. Oh, do it first, you're thinking? I see. That might have been smart. So I guess doing it as doing it as you want me to do might have actually let me swing. I was worried about getting the candle. Maybe it would have been better to do that because he wouldn't be able to block. Yeah. You have two legendaries of the same type? No. Slam foot. It's kind of a bad one for me. The synergy with Whisper is fucking out of this world. Yeah, I'm in pretty rough shape all of a sudden. Oh, I think I'm dead here. I'm absolutely dead here. Yeah, I guess I should have uh, thought about the, I think the suggestion from chat to uh, trigger the Rona and let him do that interaction would be the way to go. He can generate a token, mill me with it, does one. I mean, I have to do stuff like this, right? So, all right, I gotta take the damage. I don't have an option here. I have no instance I can look for in my, if I have Gideon's in there, I could search for it. All right, um, let's go ahead and draw. Okay, so now he's gonna do it, presumably. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter. This isn't this isn't going to be a card I can play in this game and have it matter. Chose not to do his tapping. So this is six, seven to play. Leaves me five and get the angel off, but I can't deal with. He can't kill the tokens, right? He has to sack them. If he's periods two and he sacks two, I'm dead, right? So I need to what? Hit whisper with this? But then if he swings with a single token, I'm just dead because I can't block it and I can't kill it. Jesus, this is Whisper plus Slime plus, plus Aerial right now is ridiculous. I don't think I have a play here. I mean, maybe I have to swing with, maybe I kill Aerial and swing with everything. out of my hand
Any target. I mean, this, the trigger kills me. If I put another legendary in his graveyard, I die. Like, just die from that. I think I'm just dead every way we look at this. Right? Any historic goes through his graveyard that he pulls out, I die. Does he have any in there? Yeah, he does. Got historics in there anyways. He could have just killed me in main phase. I think I've been dying through turns. I think the turn that I had the option of still winning the game that wasn't entirely on my opponent's mistakes, I think was the turn that uh, I could have triggered him into killing Rona with Whisper and tapping all of his creatures. I think chat was absolutely right there. I didn't see it in time. It's cast, not ETB. All right, making big punts. It's fine. Are you sure? He just hit me with Slimefoot a second ago with that. All right, well, at the very least, it's a blocker I removed there. So what do I have for actual attackers here? Not enough. Uh, I'm going to die to whatever here. Swing and see if he survives. Yeah, I think I think they're the last time. I mean, that I didn't know that. I just assumed I was dead. Get one more game versus this guy. How do you get one of my tokens? Oh, it's the token generated by Aaron Ariel. I just suddenly realized, I'm like, the Paladin wasn't on my table at all to destroy, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm at two health, and he think he cast kills me. I think we might be able to beat his deck next next game. But yep, that was a big punt from me. Not seeing the uh, tapping of his creatures. I mean, he's at 15 fucking health. So maybe it wouldn't have been enough to kill him, but I could have got a lot of damage in at the cost of Rona. The other big mistake this play, I think, was not Ronaing my own Rona to get Arvid back. Because Arvid giving plus two, plus two to the Jin as well as the other Rona, really changed this board a lot. Uh, it's GG. Okay, um, he's got two attackers. There's no way he can fuck this up. Let's get to the next game. What things do we do differently? We saw no hard removal on his entire deck except Vicious Offering, which is a five damage thing that Dub actually is really good versus. I can play around that. What else, chat? Uh, the deck, the game was slow enough that Elephant Kicker, actually Elephant trades with Knight. Elephant also slows down his bullshit enough um i think unicorn's a little weaker versus his deck i like the lifesteal but i need blue creatures to block his knight he knows about syncopate now it might still be something that's relevant but it might not trapper does still seem good I don't know about Syncopate here. He has good synergy with Rona, just leaving it up. Some fucking lifesteal might be a thing. Healing Grace is a nice combat trick. This I don't know that it is, really. Fucks with his first strike, dude. It's not a nice combat trick. It's just a bad combat trick. I don't know if I want it in there. Keep the says is. 
All right, fingers crossed. Yeah, missing the second Arvid was pretty bad, and missing the... Uh... I like Unicorn over Scholar in general as well, but he's got a 2-2 two, two first striking Knight. That's a huge issue for me. And he's got a bunch of 2-2 two, two oozes that I really wouldn't mind 2-3s down for. The Unicorn is not very good versus this deck, unfortunately. The life game would be nice. Can't play with this. This is the wrong colored mana. I go first. This is useless. That sucks. Really don't want a mulligan here. The game is really close. Mulliganing is pretty bad for us. All right, I guess I'm keeping that. If he has his super aggro hand, we're in some trouble. That's a really good one to have for a hooper at super aggro hand. Uh, he did not maul, unfortunately. Okay. There's his big pain in the ass for me. Of course, he's got it on two again. Very hard for my deck to deal with that. Okay. Play the Homerid. Land, land, land. Let's hope he's land screwed. And a slime foot. Okay, the slime foot this early is massively problematic. Might do something I don't want to do here instead. Do I have to race now? I mean, he just tokens me to death if I try to race, right? I don't know why hello there, I doubt it. I guess I'm gonna swing with the Hummer anyways. And then just call the cav. No, I can't dub and swing because I, I can. If I dub now, he's not gonna block it. He'll take five, and then every other turn from now on, he just chumps it with a token, and I can't do anything because he just generates tokens off Slimefoot forever if he wants to. So I don't think dubbing works. Yeah, I can dub a token, um, but he has Vicious Offering in his deck. It's one of the few removal spells he actually seems to have. Don't really want to be on a creature that's five or less health with dub. I might end up having to do it in this position. all of his mana every turn um but he's hitting me for five every time i do that we could consider it next turn this turn just seemed better to still get the, the creatures on the board uh gang blocking the knight's a thing presumably he vicious offering kills them both I take three less damage i force the trick out of his hand i don't let him slime foot this turn we didn't see the minus one, minus one trick out of him. I think I'd do that. It's not protection from white, it's uh, hexproof white. Oh, he has fungal infection. Didn't think he had that card. Don't remember him playing that, maybe in the bottom of his deck. Fuck, that just kind of kicked our ass. This card is kicking our ass. Knight of Malice is kicking the shit out of us right now. Alright, that's not helping either. Okay. Played it in the first game. I don't remember it at all. Sure it happened. I just don't remember it. My only creature. Uh, what am I bouncing here? Flyer. Oh, yeah. Uh, flyer triggers two damage though. It's exactly the same as leaving it. Let's bounce the paladin. Okay. 
I'm dead to slime foot though. I don't know what I do about it. Yes, I'm sure he did. I'm sure when you bring it up, I can remember the exact thing. I'm sure it's on uh, Twitch, John, but I don't, didn't remember it. I didn't remember it in time. If you guys didn't remember it in time and said something, that might have been a thing. Seems like a pretty fucking poor. Set a one, two, three, four, five on curve with a two drop with fucking first strike, a flyer, and a slime foot. I mean, this is this is a good good hand for him. I can stall a little bit with uh, dubbing the homerid. So he doesn't have vicious offering. If he's got vicious offering, we're just fucked. Giddings the flyer. I hope we draw our flyer and can do something before it's too late. Should actually have been on the journey mage, I think. I don't think four and three are relevant. Maybe they're relevant. Hate getting these fucking two one gliders. Am I just like missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. But he's got another one there, seven, and two more in hand. Like, what the fuck? I know I mulled one. I'm two lands ahead again. Feeling this value right now. Feeling like I'm getting fucked right now. So I gotta get, Sarah Angel doesn't really do it. Maybe it does if he blocks with the spider and I can somehow not get pressured out by this slime foot before it's too late, but it's really too late right now. Damn. And there's the vicious offering. Uh, I think I can still survive it this round. Uh, but I might not survive the rest of it. Oh, he's invulnerable this turn. I guess I can survive whatever he throws at me. So eat auras or just ooze or just equipment? Equipment. I'm invulnerable. I don't care. Okay. So he's had all the cards I needed him not to have. He had his Vicious Offering. He had his Fungal Infection. He had his Slime Foot. He had his Black Knight. Had every single card I needed him not to have in the opening. So that's good. He's got Iriel. Sure. It's got to be last turn that we drew a gent. Yes, planes. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna lose to this deck. His board looks fucking disgustingly insane right now. This is what he did to us last game too, right? Drew six cards and then just uh, drew six lands and then just drew all of his creatures in a row. Can't play it on a black mana. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, twelve. I guess he could be representing lands, but still. Yeah, yeah. Already got two knights on the board. Yep, yep. I don't, I don't see how we win this right now. I think we just lose. Shit. The thing is, I blew it on that complicated board state last game. So we might have just been able to win this as a deck if I'd been able to think through that board state in a reasonable manner. Still have not drawn any of the cards I need for this. I mean, if he just shoves, I'm dead anyways. 
Seems he wants to play the slow game. I'll put creatures on the board. I don't know why he doesn't do whatever he wants to do, man. Probably wants to remove the crab. It doesn't, I don't know. Makes no sense to me. Should be dead. Nice. Okay, killed his own knight with uh, arrow. That's exciting. Wish he'd done that a little earlier. Sets him back two turns. I've done that before, by the way. Like, it's not even that hard to do with that card. It's super annoying, the targeting. If you haven't used it before, it's like unbelievably obnoxious. Is it, is it a cat knight? It's a cat warrior. Okay. What did he mill? Did he get his whisper? Dark bargain and a skin witch. This card does not do me any favors. On a two turn clock here, I think. Used it last game. He never used it to offensively do something. He only ever generated tokens with it. Kill wall with zero with aerial without engaging another knight. Uh, X or less. Maybe. Probably. Island. Perfect. Uh, let's pass. So my outs are he doesn't generate a 1-1 one, one token and then attack me with it. And uh, yeah, like aerial doesn't win him games here right now. All he has to do is generate a single token off slime foot. And attack me with it and I die. You can do that as well, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm dead 100% here then. Okay. GG. All right. Take a break after this one, guys. Grab water. Back in a minute. Yeah.
All right, let's get going. Just a little bad after that. Still, is what it is.